Um, this is one of my toughest debates. I literally just came up with this literally a couple hours ago. Who is the more skilled, not better, skilled player ever? Kobe or MJ? Now, y'all know I've been on the record saying for the longest that Kobe, in my opinion, was the most skilled player of all time. But... I'm not going to deny that Kobe got most of his moves from MJ. But people forget Kobe, when he came in the league, he was one of the most athletic players people ever seen at such a young age. Y'all remember in 1997, Kobe got drafted in 1996. Y'all remember in 1997, at 18 years old, he won a dunk contest? At 18 years old. At 18 years old. MJ won, I, I believe, won more than one dunk contest. I'm not sure, but I know he was. They called him Eric Jordan for a reason. We know what MJ is about, okay? We know MJ came one of the nice fadeaways, pump fades, you know what I'm saying? Like driving layups and everything. You know, Kobe kind of, you know, copied his moves. But this couple moves, Kobe mastered also. He mastered the jack step, he mastered the pump fade fadeaway. You know, the one. When he was stopping a dime and then pump fade and get defense in the air and then fade away. Y'all can go check out B.A.D.O.S. Uh, impersonation, impersonation video and see Kobe. Y'all check, check that out. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But anyways, he mastered a couple of his moves. But he has to, He also mastered his own moves. Like I said, the pump fade fade away, jab step. Um, one of the couple moves he does is he will come up and has no mellow he's also a better shoot i believe he's a better shooter than mj mj was mostly based on his mid-range kobe was based on mid-range but he had a better three-point shot than mj and also froby kobe froby was literally one of the most athletic players ever he was a different breed he was coming out coming out in the NBA doing 360 dunks and games and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, And I also believe Kobe has better ball handling than MJ. Kobe just don't show it much in the game. Kobe's ball handling is elite. I've seen a lot of clips of Kobe's ball handling. It's elite. He's on bringing out because he knows his game. He knows how he perfected. Now, we know about, like I said, I'm going to get to the MJ part now. MJ mastered his fadeaway he mastered his driving layups he mastered he mastered his athleticism and his defense Colt, i mean mj's defense was one of the best of all time he was a defensive player of the year a couple of times for a reason so we know about that okay we go to kobe now kobe was also an amazing defender now he wasn't as great as mj but he was one of the best defenders to ever play the game. He mastered his craft at defending the ball and was one of the best at steal, like getting steals every game. Um, getting fast break dunks off of steals. So, it's this is a really tough debate. I, I, I'm going to still go with Kobe because I believe Kobe's IQ is better than MJ's. I believe Kobe has a better IQ for the game. Because when it comes to skill set, they're both at the same pace, in my opinion. They're both at the same pace. Both of them are very athletic. Even in their in their primes, they were crazy. Kobe, young Kobe, Froby was the most athletic player to play the game. One of the most athletic players, other than Vince Carter, other than T Mac, you no know, Dr. J, Dr. You know what I'm saying, Dr. J, all of them, Dominique, Dominique Wilkins. He was one of the most athletic players to ever play the game with MJ. Skill set, signature moves. Kobe and MJ had the same moves, but it's really based on who mastered it better. 
I believe Kobe mastered the jab step better than MJ. Now for the fadeaways, it's tough. It's tough. Kobe did more fadeaways later in his career than MJ. You know, MJ mastered, I think MJ mastered the fadeaway better. Kobe did more later in his career. Um, driving layups. I give it to MJ. Now, ball handling. I'm giving that to Kobe. I'm giving that to Kobe. Defense. MJ. IQ for the game. I'm giving that to Kobe. Because he learned from Shaq. He learned how to play the game better. And he learned how to break down defenses. Kobe had that ability. He had that ability to break down defenses when he when he was with Paul Gasol, Derek Fisher, Ron Artest, you know, Trevor Reese and the crew. So I'm gonna still stick with Kobe, man. I think Kobe, in my opinion, because I it, I'm gonna put it this way, and it's it's like this applies for all the LeBron and MJ debate too. People, it's many people that don't bring up generations too. I live in a uh, 2000, between 2010, 2020 generation. I was born in 1997. There's people that was born in the 1980s that got to watch MJ. I didn't get to watch MJ like that. I got to watch Kobe. So for me, what I saw I think Kobe was the most skilled player. Now, if I would have saw MJ live, maybe I had a different opinion. But I'm, I'm just gonna say this: since I was allowed to see Kobe, you know, God rest Kobe's soul, go, go Kobe and Gigi, I was allowed to see Kobe his whole career. So I know his whole game, his IQ for the game, his athleticism, his handles, his signature moves, his fadeaways, his pump face. His teammates, his upbringing, he, he, he you know, he didn't, he, he went straight to, straight to uh, NBA, he didn't go to college, went to dunk contest at 18 years old. So, I believe, this is why I believe Kobe is the most skilled player. This is upbringing from the start where he started at to where he ended his career. Y'all can say MJ, I won't be mad at it, you know, I won't argue with it. It's just because I saw Kobe. I got to saw him. I didn't get to see MJ live like that. I got to saw Kobe live his whole career. So this is why I think Kobe is the most skilled player of all time. Comment down below who y'all think is the most skilled player between Kobe, MJ, and comment down below why. I want to hear y'all opinions, and I hope Stephen A. I hope I get to send this video to Stephen A. I want to see his take on this. You know, I want to ask him this question because this is a this is a hard debate. This is a really hard debate. Nobody really talk about this one. You know what I'm saying? So. This is Wilson NBA Taste. I'll see y'all tomorrow.